Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information and to download the source code of this video, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. In this video, uh, in our previous video, we have talked about how to display uh, image or how to display multiple images on a MATLAB GUI. So, in this particular video, we will learn how to display uh, a real-time video or a webcam video on a MATLAB GUI and how to take the snapshot out of it. So, open MATLAB. Uh, in MATLAB, once you have installed the required device uh, driver for a uh, webcam, you need to know uh, how many devices are attached to your uh, to your computer and which can and how many devices are there which can be accessed by your MATLAB so this can be done by having a simple com simple command imaqhw info and press enter it will tell you like how many drivers or adapters are uh, connected to this uh, particular PC or to your MATLAB so we have two adapter win video and the DGAN. So that means we can access a webcam which is connected to the computer through win this win video. Now we will create a video input uh, uh, structure uh, with defining uh, the required hardware and because uh, there was a screen capture software is also installed on this uh, computer so the i device id which are which is assigned to this particular webcam is second so we'll put this second device id and then right. so now we will check whether our hardware is working or not we can check via preview command so preview a okay so this is coming up so this is fine also this is our space and we can access all the data feed which is coming from this webcam to this matter so this particular command is also useful if we want to make some uh, real-time image processing based uh, programs so let's close it and let's open our GUI create let's create guide open guide blank gui okay so this in blank gui because uh, first we'll save it at our desktop okay and we'll say real time video we'll save by some you can save it with another name but saved it the corresponding uh, function will open up here okay as we understand now if we want to display any video or image we need to have this uh, access plot okay. now which we have here so now go to this uh, file opening function of this one this was the opening function so as we discussed we first create a video input structure with defining win video and then device id and let's say uh, whether we are getting it or not okay so it's done let's save it so let's run it so as soon as we run it uh, everything goes fine but the thing is uh, preview is coming up in some another video rather than on the GUI itself so we need to fix uh, this particular problem so what we will do we will create a image object so what we will do we will create an image object and we will access that particular axis as an image and then we will preview the video through that image object so that particular image object can be created by this command so, okay so what we are doing here first we have selected the axis of this one 
So this is axis one, as we have discussed in our previous video. By this command, and then we have created a image object by writing image zero six five six is parent handle root axis. So what it is doing, it will create a dark image, or will create a dark image, or it will show a image on this particular axis. And then we will simple preview our code. I will simple preview our video input uh, uh, structure on that particular image or whatever image object we have created. So this was the thing which uh, needs to be done. So you can have a look again. First, we need to select the axis by command axis handle store. I am sure. So I think uh, it will try another because there is nothing I am sure here. So it is axis one. Okay. Access access one. As the name of this one is access one, and then again here, this will be access one. Hmm. Our sign is fine. Let's uh, run it. So this was our GUI, and yep, our image is being displayed here well and good so we can also change the size of the image so that uh, it fulfills our requirement let's do that again we have taken the size of this one so we can have uh, 1000 by 1100 size so our image will be displayed now in that particular size yeah. right so based on that we can also change like in how much duration yeah image should be displayed let's make it two by two now it will have some larger okay it's uh, uh, oh yeah, it's already is in use. Let's run it again. Oops, it has gone down. And first, cancel it. Okay, so this is how you can change the. Uh, output size of this particular window right in which format it should display uh, I think the previous one was much better yeah. uh, you can also have uh, you can also check like what are the various formats are uh, supported uh, by your uh, structure which you have created and uh, based on that uh, you can have uh, like uh, uh, which one should be uh, used so now what we will do we will have some buttons here and we will try to capture the current image and we will display the image back to here and then we will again uh, take uh, once image is being displayed and suppose we want to display this real video feed again so we will have another button here too uh, which will uh, again start showing this uh, real video feed so let's do some changes first we need a button to have take the snapshot of on this one let's uh, change its font size to 12 and then take snapshot and let's change this name snapshot yeah, and let's save it 
so because our video object has been created here so we will define it as a global so that uh, uh, this particular variable a can be accessed anywhere within this program otherwise it will be uh, uh, the scope of that particular variable a with, will be within this function only so let's again access this global a and then let's take uh, command get snapshot a and then I am show I am. so now if we run this particular program uh, it will take the snapshot and will display there so right now it is not providing the live feed of it and the size has been increased because the snapshot has taken in full resolution mode and then uh, that has been displayed while uh, when we were displaying the video videos were displaying in this format only so we can also change uh, the configuration of this video by providing some more uh, definition to it and let's cross it and let's run it again so now this will be showing video in the proper format and let's have uh, take a snapshot the video has been displayed so now what we will do uh, once we have taken the snapshot our uh, real video is not coming up again so we will have a button in the here too which will start displaying a preview let's close it and go to this GUI and make uh, another one now uh, first change this font size 12 and change its name by preview and again preview and save it and again go to preview so again call global and uh, again start previewing uh, so uh, select these two one this one again completely so let's call run it again so right now it is showing display taking a snapshot again now set preview so it will start displaying the real uh, video feed from the webcam and take a snapshot and again we can have a preview uh, this is how we can do or we can interface uh, this particular webcam to our GUI and can direct this real time video to the MATLAB GUI so I hope you understand a lot uh, from this video so that's it for this video so that's it for this video thank you